hello and welcome to Khalees Times. Today we have with us the Dhamakedar duo who's been causing all sorts of dhamakas recently with their Netflix release. And it's an honor and my pleasure to have you both with me today. Thank you, Samia. Nice Thank that we're here. Thank you. And Thank you. you know, the, 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 the success of the film has been huge. Um, it goes without saying, I don't even have to point it out almost anymore. Uh, I wanted to know, uh, firstly, like a huge congratulations to both of you. I'm sure you're both very happy with it. And I wanted to know, like, did you both anticipate the love and appreciation? Yeah, yeah. Man, we, just, <laughs> we just take it for granted. <laughs> you know, there's, I was just speaking to Karthik each time. It's like giving your final exams. You're hoping that people like it. And uh, though we had obviously conviction in what we made, but, you know, whenever you are sending it out there, into the universe. What do you feel, Karthik? Similar, sir. I mean, it, it's always a uh, always a unit test, always an exam. Uh, yeah. you, like uh, you're waiting for the result to come out, and uh, that's what happened with Hamaka as well. We were, of course, uh, like uh, uh, sure about the content, and 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 we thought that people would enjoy watching it. They would be on the edge of their seats. When they watched the film, so of course uh, there was this like uh, uh, we were confident about the uh, about the subject, but we were just not uh, we didn't know that the kind of reaction that we are getting right now uh, we would have uh, gotten. So I mean we're really happy about the uh, appreciation and all the accolades that's coming towards the film, and um, I'm really happy with it. So you don't expect it, you want it, but uh, <laughs> but I'm glad that it happened with our film. Yeah, absolutely. There's so much love and so much appreciation. And the palpitations and the nerves, do they get easier like over time? Is it sort of easier, the anticipation process? No, not at least. Uh, thank God, thank God it doesn't get easier. Is it tougher? It, if, it, if it got easier, then I think we would not be doing our jobs because it, that means you're taking yourself and your work for granted. So... No, you're always, you're always nervous, but you're always excited. But at the same time, you know, we would not release it unless there was a sudden conviction. So. <laughs> yeah, and you know, Karthik mentioned that uh, he said that we, like the viewers, he knew that the viewers would be on the edge of their seats while watching this film. I was a viewer and I was definitely on the edge of my seat. I felt like I was on a roller coaster with the film, like going up and down, like holding on, like closing my eyes in the middle. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the recurrent feeling in the film for me as a viewer was this like feeling of immense risk taking and how uh, some people in their life sort of like, you know, um, the stakes for some people on, on an everyday basis are so high for them and they're constantly taking very big risks in their life. And, you know, sort of almost like if I'm not taking risks in my life, like what am I even doing? Kind of like a question in me. So I wanted to know that like, both of you, you know, what was what was the biggest risk you felt you were taking with this project while embarking on this journey? Kartik? For me, uh, uh, it's it's pretty simple. I was actually shifting uh, genres. I was uh, I was not doing something that I'd done before. For me, it was uh, one of its kind. The be it the subject, be it the kind of filmmaking that Ram sir has. He he has a three sixty degree system of shooting uh, uh, as a filmmaker, which which I think is a genius filmmaking aspect that he has. And uh, uh, so so uh, being a part of that, and I think it wasn't a risk, but the risk was to uh, the major risk was to shift genres for me personally. Uh, from doing romantic films or comedy films uh, to to an out and out thriller, um, uh, will acceptance will I get that acceptance from the people, or uh, will they accept me in this zone or not? So that was my biggest challenge, and uh, and it gave me that validation with this film. Yeah, the acceptance well, has been loud and clear. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what happens. Uh, at one hand, when an actor does not take risks, then everybody says. <laughs> See, not taking risks. <laughs> and when he does take a risk, and if, God forbid, it doesn't work, then that risk is something which affects not just him, but it affects all the other directors who go to him and his own ability to accept other work. So I think that the responsibility is really towards Karthik as far as I'm concerned, because if, for instance, it hadn't worked, God forbid, it hadn't worked, then... I would not have been able to meet him in the eye. And then I would not have been able to do, like the responsibility is really to make sure that the actor can take more risks 
and can actually go out there and say, yes, I have taken one risk, it has worked. And therefore for the future, I think this is really very, very important for uh, Karthik in his own journey as an actor, where he has got the love and appreciation means that he can continue taking risks. Yeah, for sure, you know, and also like everything in this film, like from the screen, from the tears to the even the puke that like came out, almost felt like it felt very real. Like I had to sort of like squirm a little bit when I saw that scene, you know, like and I heard that the film was shot in all of 10 days and yet it was so true and honest to the moment. How can you share with us like the experience of filming, this very unusual way of filming? Mm. <laughs> Karthik, you want to, you want to take off and... Uh, I'll add on to this uh, that uh, I mean, as uh, as I said earlier, I was speaking about the same 360 uh, degree system that Ram sir has. As an actor, it's it, it's it's like a dream come true for me. I, it was just me and the and the camera or the cameras just recording me. Uh, you know, so so he has a unique way where uh, everything is getting recorded. Everything is real on set. Uh, you don't need to wait for lighting. It was already pre-lit. Uh, you don't do the normal OS, OS, uh, and and up close up lag up uh, mid shot lag that kind of stuff. It's it's uh, he has got all of it covered uh, with the kind of cameras that he has already set up uh, in various various uh, places in the room. Uh, so so we had a set which was fully functional. Um, I mean. Functional से मेरा मतलब है कि अगर वहाँ पे फोन फोन रखा है या कॉफी मशीन रखी है या टीवी चल रहा है, everything is just working. Uh, it's it's it was like a radio studio turned into a TV studio, uh, which which completely worked. So for me as an actor, it was it was kind of being in that real zone uh, and and being shot from every look uh, from every uh, angle possible, I guess. And we used to just uh, he had divided the film into chapters. So uh, so we we were doing majorly chapter one, chapter two, uh, a, a day a chapter. So so a chapter a day. So basically, uh, so it used to be long long takes. We used to take like fifteen pages uh, in one take or eight pages in one take in one go. So so that used to happen. And he never says action or cut he just comes close to you and he would just uh rehearse a few things here and there and uh, and just say uh, this line which he always says uh, uh, karthik whenever you're ready just start and he goes away so i can take a minute i can take five minutes i can take 10 minutes and whenever i'm ready so so it doesn't disturb uh, me as an actor that koi action ake bol rahe, koi clap there's no clap clap ake you know, there's uh, action, rolling camera, sab ye sab ho hai. so it was not the usual way of filmmaking, uh, but I loved it. I, I just enjoyed being a part of it. So it wasn't daunting? Like it didn't uh, scare you? Uh, hey, what a question, Samia. What a nice question. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, it, 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 uh, I didn't understand when he told me about, when he uh, narrated me the film and then later on, uh, I mean, he told me how he he he's used to uh, film make his way of filmmaking he tried to make me understand that but mujhe wo thoda sa tab itna samajh nahi aaya tha jab tak main set pe nahi gaya tha aur so when i uh, went there and i was usse pehle sir bolte the are itne pages ek bar mein and i said ha ho jayega kya hai isme but uh, when i came on the set for the first time uh, Thoda sa, matab, I got a little nervous when I saw that there's no lighting, there's no gap, there's it's just you and camera and you just have to perform. And uh, so so I was thoda sa nervous, but once I got a hang of it, I was really into it. And uh, and I started enjoying it. Ki, and I started to think, ki, sab log aise nahi karte? Uh, it's it's not possible for a lot of people to do it. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you that because it's, it's a different... Uh, talent that he has and no, uh, no but just to spend a minute on uh, just you know sort of i think i ek to i just took it for granted that karthik would do it you know it, it never even occurred to me for a minute that you know karthik would not do it but obviously when you put somebody in the deep end uh, and in the system of filmmaking that is ready to try and get to some truth uh, and to try and see how you can you know sort of cover the landscape of the human face 
which you've seen that there is when when you see the tear fall down his eye uh, and you can tell that the actor is really in the moment so all of this is really to try and get to that truth but karthik embraced it and i tell an anecdote every time on day 5 when i was going to actually say uh, when we were shooting with seven cameras and it wasn't working out and take one didn't work out because you know just to manage the entire circus um so and i said to my team i said let's just go back to traditional methods of shooting which is we'll finish this setup then we'll finish that setup and um, we used to call that traditional method of shooting i mean how stupid we are to call it that but we used to call it dishonest and we used to call our system the honest way of shooting so everybody used to say you want to go back to a dishonest way the traditional way and karthik was there tying his shoelaces at that time and then he just looked up and he said sir traditional and uh, that gave me courage to actually continue doing my system uh, and that really helped me that day and that told me also that uh, like karthik has really started enjoying uh, and embracing the way that i work uh, but it's only so that i can you know so that the actor is comfortable and we can get the kind of performances that you are seeing you know which is that you really do you feel sad you feel you know when he's doing you feel shocked uh jo all the navras <laughs> you feel all the nine rasas yeah. so that's really just to get you that feeling yeah and you know like this is a very interesting way that you don't have action and thought and you said this before as well that you don't believe in that sort of like film, way of film making but when could you revisit the moment when you discovered this for the first time that there should be no action and thought so i come from advertising uh and um i'm used to working with 200 300 people on set uh but what used to happen is that every time that i wanted to speak to my actor i sometimes had to almost wear metaphorically an american rugby uniform because i had to move my way excuse me excuse me excuse me i mean just for me to get to my actor i just had to move through so many light boys not that they of course everybody is doing their work uh, but i then so after a while i started getting a little frustrated with the way we were shooting and the way they were working and i just felt that i needed my own sacred space with there are two people over here who are important in that moment the director and the actor and very often i don't tell the director the actor what to do i suggest i ask i never tell i never ever act it out so i did my first film which was a very indie kind of movie called let's talk which is when i started inventing that system uh which is the fly on the wall kind of system and in an ad for har ek friend zaruri hota hai for airtel mm-hmm. where i began to capture a feeling so in a classroom and everybody felt my gosh this is real i mean how can you know 40 50 college kids in a classroom singing how can that be real that's not real but people felt it was real so i said so then i began to do this riyaz every time in my advertising so i started practicing this in meerja i did it in the plane uh and um, then i got the opportunity in arya and then actually in dhamaka was the first time that in many ways i had buy in from a really big star you know so uh, and a male uh, hero so to say <laughs> who who said yeah this is good it's not a problem go ahead <laughs> so it just gave me a lot more confidence and conviction yeah and now karthik wants to do this in all of his films so <laughs> i'm sure he's very fond of this way and uh, you know like uh, the, the filming of this uh, movie was also sort of done through the pandemic which is another obstacle so to say and i'm sure for both of you of the first of its kind experience to sort of do this in the middle of a pandemic in a bio bubble um the were there any like challenges that you had to face along the way or what was the process like so i'll take that for a minute and then i'll pass the baton on to karthik oh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but a uh, couple of things just to go back it's not <clears throat> we're not proud that we finished the film in 10 11 days it's not as if we were hurrying we we work 12 hours a day we never wanted it to be published that we had finished it that fast people sometimes think that you're in a hurry we we're, we're not in a hurry it was just scheduled we do believe in a certain amount of organization and planning uh, and therefore i also believe in not wasting resources and i think wasting resources is most important people's time uh, of course money is there uh, but i just want to try and see how i can make it efficient for everybody who say why do you have to hang it up why do you have to wait why must there be a slight change in a setup change so in in but uh, having said that yes we did shoot in the pandemic i think ours was one of the first films and i have to credit 
my co-producer Amita Madhwani and my EPs, most importantly, CI and Ria, who um, we booked a whole hotel, which was 500 rooms. We should have booked only three floors, but we decided that we would book all five, although our crew was only 250. Uh, we built a bridge between the uh, where the hotel was and where we were shooting so that there would be no like you know sort of exposure in a way. I think the code protocols were so good that um, we even got people tested when they went home so that they can be safe when they go home, not just when they come on to shoot. Uh, these are all people who have families and they need to go back to their homes feeling good. But I remember so we, were the, tested, we were tested before coming in and yeah. And before meeting uh, other people in the hotel, also we were tested again. Yeah. So there was a double test. With just before. Yeah. yeah. And these are all rules that we were making, you know, as we were going along because nobody knew. But I'll tell you what I also used to do. I had uh, two, uh, you know, sort of those disinfectant kind of sprays. So mm -hmm. I felt like I was going around like, you know, sort of and everywhere because I had to make sure that Karthik felt safe. So I remember every, every time that he wanted to sit down, I would go there going. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was one of the first one during the lockdown when we didn't know uh, what's going to happen. And I think the vaccines were also not there uh, when we started shooting. Uh, so, so it was kind of scary for all of us uh, and for 300 people to get into a hotel and shoot a movie at that time was a big thing. So, uh, and then as Sir said that it was one of the first films to be greenlit and the first film to be shot during the pandemic. Uh, so everything was just scary uh, to think of at that moment uh, when we were planning it. And the biggest risk, uh, biggest, biggest fear was that we had all, it was, the planning was to the T, it was up to the mark, but, but the only thing was that everything was done through Zoom calls. Uh, like the way we are doing an interview right now, the whole film was planned uh, through these calls, through these video calls, because we were not meeting each other. We were technically, when the planning was going on, we were under a major lockdown at that time. And uh, the moment the lockdown, thoda sa, they eased it up. They, that's the time we went into a bio bubble to shoot the film. Uh, so, so I had not met any uh, actors, co-actors as well. I had not interacted with anyone. Most of them, uh, matlab, zara se ek zoom call kuch ho gaya hoga kisi ke uh, so, so, so I was meeting everyone for the first time, uh, when I was enacting, I was doing a scene with them. Uh, so, so that was the only time when I met them. So this was again, a first for me that we had not rehearsed anything together. Uh, that is also his process that he didn't want me to rehearse anything with any, uh, co-actor of mine, uh, uh, or, or vice versa. So, uh, so I think that was something which, which again, uh, felt like new a new thing but the risky thing was that we always we all of us all of it was planned through zoom calls and and of course the corona scare was already there um, at that point of time so that's phenomenal if anything it's a marker of good productivity i'd say not that you rushed through you know it's like immense productivity and being very sort of spot on with your i think work. that the whole credit goes to ram sir amita ma'am uh, and uh, their team and rsvp of course so everyone uh, who's, who's, I think I was, I felt really safe. I felt really safe as an actor because, uh, because actors, uh, sorry, I'm talking a privileged thing, but actors uh, can sound like this, but uh, they're, they're more prone to getting it during, during the course of a shoot because they are without masks. They are interacting there. They have to be without it. They have to, uh, uh, whatever, their work demands uh, sometimes of not wearing masks. So, which, which, which was scary at that time. And I felt safe because Ram sir was always the one who was also paranoid. And <laughs> was, who was always uh, thinking about, ki, Are, isko kuch ho jai, isko kuch ho. about everyone. Uh, so, you know, so, uh, so thankfully I had a director who was like that. And, uh, and I really felt like I was, I was in some, uh, I mean, bio bubble, jo hona chahiye, wo, which was properly, properly conducted. Uh, by the team of RMF uh, and RSVP over there. So I was, I was really happy. 
Yeah. And you know, just lastly, I want to sort of end it on a high note. Uh, Karthik, you have completed 10 years in the industry, you know, from 2011 to now 2021. I just wanted to sort of ask you, you know, and what a journey it's been, honestly. I'm pretty sure you get told this every day, but um, I, if you sort of, you know, if you want to look back, how does it make you feel? And also what is to come in the next 10 years for Karthik Aryan as well? I want to um... I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of my journey and I'm really, uh, this, this question has been coming <laughs> on and on uh, during the promotions of the film uh, while interviewing with Ram sir. Pure time har bar ye hai. I have uh, a question for me on this as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I'm glad, I'm, I'm really proud and I feel, I uh, old ho gaya, ye kya hua because uh, uh, I started like a child actor only, <laughs> like a child artist. Uh, uh, but it, but the journey has been so quick and so uh, and, and full of ups and downs. Uh, uh, he's he's still a child artist. I'm still a child artist. So I feel like I'm still a child artist. So I feel like I'm still a child artist. So I feel like I'm still a child artist. But, but I'm so, so happy that, that I've survived <laughs> and, and <laughs> I'll, I'll keep on surviving and, uh, and hopefully, yeah, yeah. The next thing is that, uh, uh, the next 10 years I'll be, I'll be ruling it, you know, oh. <laughs> modesty. Uh, I was just going to thank you for that modest answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll keep on enjoying my work. Yeah, and you know, like um, Ram, and th this particular, like he's finished ten years in the industry, and you're sort of a veteran in this industry. I wanted to see, like, you know, if you if you yeah. take a look at his journey from a third person point of view, like, what what about Karthik's journey stands out to you? Yeah, I love you. God. Yeah, yeah. Um, first, I'm also um <laughs> a child in this industry. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a veteran. We're all actually strugglers. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, being a struggler means that you don't lose your greed, uh, in your creative greed. Uh, and I think that uh, I have only, I've seen, um, I think three films of Karthik's. I've enjoyed them hugely. Uh, I have been following his career. I've been wanting to work with him. I think for the last three or four years, we've been having conversations on various things. Um, and I uh, have, um, when I started interacting with him, uh, I have found that I'm not looking at him from the outside because now I can look at him by interacting with him. I found that his sharpness uh, on uh, input, on, on suggestions, on, uh, you know, uh, even script, uh, I found that that sharpness is something that I, in fact, began to rely on. Uh, and therefore, there are the motivation, the creative motivation and the creative push that he has on whether it's an end song, for instance, which is something which he suggested that let's try and make it like Jite Hechal, which is what was there in Nirja. He said, why don't we have a philosophical song? And therefore, his inputs on music, his inputs on scenes, his inputs on whether a scene is working or not is something which I found invaluable. And I think that that is something which has happened because he has been there, done that. It's only when you are actually, you know, sort of constantly sharpening uh, your uh, skills and you're sharpening your instruments that you can begin to use them better. Uh, and the only way that you can actually sharpen your instruments is by working. And he has been working. Uh, in, in, and I think that's what's really helped because in, the, in, in, in our, you know, they say, um, experience is something which, um, I mean, what's the you know, point of experience? I think experience is everything. Uh, because when he was, I'm sure when he was younger, 10 years ago, he didn't have the same inputs. Now there is a, almost a native sense. There is an inner sharpness that is there which says, ye seen mein ye karte, ye kaise lag raha, et cetera, et cetera. Though there is always insecurity, but there is always input. So I have enjoyed that part of working with Kai. So, and here's to hoping that, you know, we see a lot more from the both of you coming together. And hopefully, both of you will come to Dubai as well soon. Sorry? I have a lot of films coming with you. Absolutely. Hopefully, you guys can promote in Dubai next time as well. Which is where yes. We no, we'd love, to, we'd love to come there. We'd love to. We love Dubai. I enjoy visiting Dubai. My friends are there. So, it's something 
that we'd love to have happened like you know sort of face to face rather than on zoom but yeah. thank you so much for your time thank you it was my pleasure no, we would yeah. really love to promote it over there and would love to maybe shoot one day over there. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. so people in Dubai, the audience here loves you. So like you should definitely put that on your agenda. All right. And thank you so much. This was my honor. And bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. So much. Thank you. Bye.